and welcome to Divine Energy Tarot. I'm Divine Energy. Welcome to this beautifully lit, abundant, and prosperous space. Here I do spiritually related content. If you enjoy it here, make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up. Make sure that you give this channel a subscription if you resonate with the content and you want to see more. Let's get into the vibe, sending you all wellness. Catch it. All right, so this one's for Saji Sagittarius. Sagittarius at this time. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Sagittarius. Wow. Yeah. I see you very protected. You connected with your ancestors, your guides. This is a connection that you've always had. You've always been willing to have this strong um, sort of connection with your, your angels, your guides. You're very protected. Okay. Um, you're like the tribe of folks that like you understand very well that you don't walk alone. Right, you see how they got the ancestors up here teaching, right? The spirit guys, right? I'm just covering him up because he's a little naky, naky, but yeah, you learn from the ancestors, they help you. Like, you could have been a spiritual practitioner or just a spiritual soul, right? Um, um, in previous lifetimes, you know, to, to this one, you know, you could have been very tapped in, right? Many lifetimes previous to this. So it's like you have a strong sense of connection with ancestors, guides, those that walk with you, okay? Some of you guys might even communicate um, with them and, like, help other people by, you know, that gift that you have of being able to communicate with the unseen, right, type energy. Some of you guys might be priest, priestess here, okay, with the seven of wands. <clears throat> This is like a spiritual initiation for you right now in your present. Okay. Sagittarius. Sagittarius at the sun. See out of the four of wands. So, yeah, I get that you're learning something, you know what I'm saying? But you're very, like, practical or you're very humble or something like that. Like, humble beginnings or, like, just humbleness, humility. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're a different type of vibe, different type of, you know what I'm saying? Je ne sais quoi. Like, real shit. To the hermit, I definitely, I strongly get that. Like... <clears throat> Who you are on a spiritual level is not who you present as. Like, you're very reserved about who you are. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even gonna call you reserved. It's more like, I guess you're not prideful, right? Is what it's telling me with the, um, to the emperor, like you learned about being prideful, you watch people be prideful or bullied you or something like that in the past. Like you've learned from this behavior, and like you're just like a different like type of energy. Okay, this is really what I get. Like you've you may have endured bullies in the past, right? And they taught you like, oh, I don't want to be a bully, right? <sighs> okay. You just give me somebody who's not prideful, you know? Somebody who's not run by ego, led by their ego. Okay. And pride, vanity, you know, things like that. Money. You're not run by, governed by such things. But more so the heart, the spirit, the soul. I just see flow. Like, that's what I see. Sagittarius. Yeah. Literally. You know, this is this is this is a subconscious thing. You're not even aware that you do it. <laughs> and a lot of people get pissed off with this page of swords. A lot of people get pissed off because, or they read you wrong. Put it like that. A lot of people read you wrong. 
Because you're not arrogant and boastful. You're not prideful. Some people may have talked about you or tried to say that you were arrogant or prideful or something like that. It's like you're proving them wrong or something like that here. In an unaware way. Like you don't even know that you were proving, you know what I'm saying? That you're not arrogant or prideful. Like it's it's such a it's such a good vibe here, I get. <laughs> There's something about you, Sagittarius. Holy Spirit, angels and guys, yeah, with this four of swords. Some of you guys overthink, over process like what you be going through. You know what I'm saying? I would I would suggest grounding, okay, for my Sagittarius that be vibing real high in this energy that I'm talking about here in this reading. I would definitely suggest grounding, sitting with your crystals. You know what I'm saying? Like meditating, whatever it is for you to get you back to the, you know, being centered. Okay, which are overthinking when you when you're having moments of that, right? Sagittarius. <clears throat> yeah. Some of you guys, this is for you, you I know it keeps I keep talking about love and all of this stuff. So that seems like monotonous, but this it's this story here, you know, about love and finding love. A lover attracting that because you're really you really worked on yourself and the ancestors are protecting you from those that even try or even think of trying you or causing problems for you you know they're not even allowed to do that like literally because you really worked on yourself okay and this stuff takes time this stuff takes, you know, over a period of time of doing this, you know, because it, your spiritual practices, <clears throat> your spiritual hygiene needs to be regular, you know. And that's what you've had to learn in this process to get into where you are. That's why it's such a humble beginning or something I'm getting. You, you have such a humble beginning, even though people try to call you arrogant. They don't know what you've had to go, endure to be this quote-unquote arrogant person or prideful person, but you're really not. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could tell you're really not. That's not really who you are. You might have to wear a mask in front of people in the public, but really who you are is like, you know, it's really laid-back, sweet person, like real shit. That's why you're attracting love here. Some of you guys are repairing your heart space. So this is about them chakras, y'all. I'm telling you. Gotta get them chakras right. So now that you've elevated in, like, the crown chakra, right, in um, your third eye, it's like your heart chakra, you know what I'm saying? Your throat chakra. Like, you know, a lot of people might try to come and act like they're going to get one up on you, you know, verbally or in any type of way. And you always shut that down because it's like you're not a prideful or boastful person, but you be right. Okay. So I don't know. You get a lot. Of, I, I, I just get that you just overthink shit here, which you said is serious. So you might be overthinking this connection or the possibility, Sagittarius, of that coming towards you. Because it's like you, you really got your shit together with this nine of pentacles. Ain't going to hold you like 909. <laughs> okay, you got your shit together. You know, I'm talking to somebody who really been working on themselves. Like, you know, nine of pentacles here. Nine of pentacles. Sagittarius. To the chariot. Back of the deck, the devil. Yeah, these people sending you this energy or sending you this negative energy, but it's like people misread you. They misjudged you. They miscalculated you. They thought they knew you. They didn't know you. 
I see you like moving in silence with this chariot. It's like not letting people get close to you or something like that or <clears throat> or maybe just being very selective here. With whatever you got going on moving forward here. Because it's like you got your shit together. So it's like you require others to have their stuff together. You know, and I feel like you're going into a connection like that. With somebody who's very much like the energy that you're in. You know, okay. With this two of cups. Because this is what's around you in the universe. With this two of cups. Okay. So you attracted that. You are attracting that by not even knowing, not even trying, not making no effort here. Okay. And then at the same time, you got like your ancestors, your guides protecting you. Okay. The divine protecting you because you're such a meek type of spirit. You know, your energy, like I said about this past life stuff, you know, you done did this before. So that's why you got a strong connection with the most high. You know, you probably saw the guy every day. <clears throat> on several occasions during the day. You know what I'm saying? You working with your angels. Really, you know, diving deep within you. You know, the trauma, the baggage, whatever issues that lay within you, right? Um, repairing those things. And again, that takes a lot of time and that takes also a level of humility because you can't be in pride to be working on stuff like that, right? So that's why people take you and think that you're arrogant. It's because when you come across, you come across as somebody who's dignified and people not used to that level of dignity, you know? Because in this world, a lot of people don't have that, you know? A lot of these people that it, for, I get from the past, they try to project onto you, whether it's spell work, whatever it is. I, I don't get that it's nice, whatever this projection is, they, their energy onto you, Sagittarius, right, with this page of swords. <clears throat> it's like you always prove people wrong over and over and over and over with this page of swords, you know. It's not just something about that. And you do it like in such a like. I don't want to say nice way. But it's like. <laughs> it's just your way. Right. And. It's been divinely orchestrated all the way up until now. You know what I'm saying. Like. You in a really good space. Keep vibing here. You know what I'm saying. You learn from your past. You learn from the things that have happened in what you want to heal and you're overcoming so many things deep within you that you're actually shifting you know Sagittarius at literally like as we speak you know what I'm saying with these constant levels of ascension you know you never know where you're going to end up tomorrow like because you constantly evolving you constantly elevating going to a next level <clears throat> That's why you attract the the same way that you attract love, you attract its opposite, right? Um, with the devil here. But these are like like I said with the shift in the timelines and all of that, these are your enemies from all lifetimes there every time in every lifetime you defeating people and you defeating energies and it's like every lifetime they have the same battle with you like this shit is be, it be insane to me such serious but your level of healing is what's really bringing this on your level of consciously being aware of where you are and where you want to be Okay, and making the act, taking the action in between to get there is what sets you apart from a lot of your counterparts. Okay. So it doesn't matter if you're in a connection, you just walking towards love. You know what I'm saying? You just walking towards what is meant for you with this two of cups, you know? 
in a lo more loving environment, more loving space, you know, what you receive, you know. <clears throat> Some people like try to count you out or discredit you or something like that. I just strongly get that with this page of cups. You know what I'm saying? Like some like whatever you do, you do it your way. And a lot of people try to make you feel like you got to do it their way or you got it got to be done that this and that way, but you do shit in your type of way and a lot of people don't like that. People want you to do shit how they want you to do it, right? You do, I, I, I strongly just get that, you know what I'm saying? Like, because you're being divinely guided the way that you do whatever you do. Somebody really, I feel like with this connection, somebody really, I, I, I don't know I keep saying match your energy, but it's like, it's deeper than that. It's like, somebody really <clears throat> is on that level with you, you know? That same sort of level with you. I also get too with this um, Queen of Cups. It's like somebody, if you guys, some of you guys are in connections. I'm just going to let you know for some. It's not for everybody, but you're not going to be with this person. Like, this is not your forever person. Because somebody be like very immature or has a bad temper or just doesn't know how to you know what I'm saying something here there's some sort of disconnect in between the connection here I see with the queen of cups and the two of cups because it's like going towards what's meant for you or something like that is what it's saying Because right after the Two of Cups, you got the Nine of Cups. That's the solo dolo. Last card out was the Chariot. Moving towards that connection. But by yourself. Chariot. So there's somebody that could be coming into your life after this person. You know what I'm saying? That you might be with presently for some. Yeah, wow, the tower, final card. <clears throat> Whatever you've done, you worked on yourself like a lot. And people don't like that because a lot of people are not working on themselves. You know, they spend too much time looking out at everybody else, judging them. Instead of tending to their own garden, right? Also, I'm getting this message about just don't look back. You know what I'm saying? Like... <clears throat> keep going forward something like that for some of you guys here all right your past no longer defines you all right confirmation yeah your past no longer defines you serious see if i can get any more oracle messages here sagittarius anything for sagittarius Yeah, these people from your past, I feel like they want you to feel indecisive or make you you feel like, you know, them being wish-washy with you would make you wish-washy with yourself. But you're very confident. You know what I'm saying? It's like even when dealing with disagreements, You're a very empathic person, like, so you put yourself in other people's situations and other people's shoes so you can understand situations better, understand people better, right? Um, and you learn that through through your empathic skills, you know? Um, even, I, I strongly get, like, even the people from your past that talk shit about you it's really because they want to be you Sagittarius that's really what I get 
Because you everything that they not. Everything that they want to be. Real shit. Yeah. Like you're everything that they want to be. Door to spirit. Hello? You're everything that they want to be. They want to be spiritual assassins. They want to be angels. They want to be Nephilim. They want to be Seraphim. They want to be serious. They want They want to be Pleiadian. They want to be all of these things, right? They want to have these associations. They want to connect with the ancestors. They want to connect more with the divine, right? They want that. They want their chakras to be aligned, right? They want, they want finances in their bank accounts to be high. You're everything that they're not. They want to be able to lend people money and not worry about them paying it back. You feel me? They want to be everything that you are that, and they, they're not. You know? 2111. <clears throat> yeah, 4th Chakra. Archangel Raphael. You guys are strongly connected <clears throat> with the angels. You've been here many worlds. Many lifetimes over. It's crazy. Six chakra, Archangel Metatron. Many times over. So I get that you also could be working through karma from your past. You know? Real shit. Such a serious. With this two of cups. Okay. It's taking you to a love connection at some point. What I see in this reading is spread alone. Like, whether you with somebody or not, like, some of you guys are going to end that connection and move on and be with somebody else who you're more aligned with, okay? Um, and then some of you guys are single and you're going to this love connection because of you healing, you working through um, the self and being the higher self. So now the higher self is aligning to your higher self's counterpart okay <clears throat> that is serious yeah sources energy akashic record i just literally said that like you you are working through karma your akashic record that's where your karma and everything is stored you know you got sources energy you working through in this energy of a unified field meaning having your ancestors your guides all those that walk with you being having a strong connection with them you feel what i'm saying like a constant binding force okay you have like this soul spark that speaks to the universe. You know, it's a timeless energy. It's omnipresent. Okay. Trust in divine timing when it comes to your love life. Um, in all things. Okay. Trust the, a confirmation that it is divine timing. Okay. <clears throat> Grasshopper. Grasshopper. Leap of faith. Don't worry. Moving on. Prosperity. Okay? Yeah. It's a sudden change in direction. Some of you guys, I'm telling you, might end, end these connections because you know that there's something better. It's, it's not that this person is a bad person or anything like that. The person, if you guys find yourself in situations, relationships, and then later on find yourself not in those connections, right? Um, It's not that this person was a bad person or vice versa or anything like that. It's just that you are aligning more these days, Sagittarius, to your higher version of you. You know what I'm saying? And your counterpart kind of has to resemble the same thing. You know? So yeah, I definitely see that. Look, look what's look what's, looks at the bottom of the deck over here. It says Archer, direct. Okay, focus, matchmaker. There's a connection here. There's a connection that's aligning here through spirit. Like you spiritually picking this person. Like 
finding this person, attracting this person, through knowing yourself, finding yourself, through your door of the spirit, element of spirit, 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 keep talking about that, some of you guys talk to spirit, literally, all the time, spirit, <laughs> spirit, okay, um, yeah, <laughs> Let's see, is there anything? Grab a couple of these and we can close it out for you, Sagittarius. 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 Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. For Sagittarius. Yeah, getting to know each other. Okay. <laughs> Y'all be thinking I'll be playing. Retreat and chemistry. Vacations. You also got out this four of swords energy. Some of you guys are traveling or going someplace. Okay. Somewhere to disconnect from the world and you're going to find somebody. And disconnect from the world, you're going to meet somebody. Ain't that some shit? You went here to isolate and then now you met somebody. <laughs> So fun. <laughs> Sagittarius. Oh, God. <laughs> Sagittarius, anything else? Holy Spirit, angels, and guys. For Sagittarius at this time. Looks like that's it for you, Sagittarius. Let me know how you like this one down below, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.